It is Monday, September 14th, 2020, and today the Church celebrates Holy Cross Day. Tradition holds that this day is um, important for Christianity as the Emperor Constantine and his mother Helena oversaw the construction of a shrine in Jerusalem, and in excavating uh, the earth to build the shrine, they discovered what they thought was a relic of the Holy Cross, the cross that Jesus was crucified on. For us, more importantly, the cross of Christ reminds us that it is um, the, the vehicle, the means by which we are saved and redeemed. It is through Christ crucified, St. Paul repeatedly says, uh, that we are saved, Christ crucified and raised. And it's through our baptism that we live into that death and resurrection of Jesus. Throughout the Old Testament, there are figures and types. There are stories that the church fathers from the earliest days saw as prefigurement of the cross. They see the cross as the corrective to the tree um, from which Adam and Eve ate uh, in the Garden of Eden. Uh, they see the cross in the wood uh, that Isaac was to have been sacrificed on. There are numerous other stories in the Old Testament that the earliest uh, Christian church used as a prefigurement of the cross. One of my favorite comes from the book of Exodus. Right after the Israelites made their way across the Red Sea, they were wandering for three days, really the first three days of their wanderings, and they had no water to drink. They came to the springs at Mara, and the water was bitter there. And the Lord showed Moses uh, a tree, a piece of wood to cast into the water, and the bitter water became sweet. Another sign that the church fathers, that the church has used um, to prefigure the cross of Christ even throughout the Hebrew scriptures, the Old Testament. My prayer for you today is that the cross of Christ, not the actual wood that Christ was crucified on, but the cross that you have in your mind, the cross that you know, the crosses that you bear even, um, may that cross of Christ, in whatever way you envision it, work to cast away any bitterness that you carry, to sweeten any bitterness that may be in your soul, any difficulties of your life. Cast your cares on Jesus. Cast your cares on Christ crucified. On this Holy Cross Day, remember that it is Christ crucified um, that we have our liberation, our salvation, and our hope. Here is the collect for the day. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, mercifully grant that we, who glory in the mystery of our redemption, may have grace to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. May the blessing, love, and mercy of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you now and always. And go in peace to love and serve the Lord.